So as you can see, we've got ourselves an exhaust leak. This is a 2012 Honda Civic, uh, ninth generation. Uh, they're well known for having exhaust failure back towards the muffler. Uh, they have a spherical flange that bolts to the rest of the piping. Usually it gets brittle, starts to crack, then muffler falls off. The only thing we'll, we'll be holding it up will be the exhaust hangers here. I went ahead and took mine off. I don't have the proper tool, but you can just use some channel locks and just kind of pry it off the hanger. Easy. So let's go ahead and take a look underneath the car here. All right. So I'm hoping you can hear me. I had to turn the heater on and it's pretty loud. Um, but here's the uh, muffler hangers back here in the very back pretty simple then you come on back here and this is the flange that I was wanting to connect to you can see there's a nut on this side there's a nut on the other side um, snap the bolt off in there and usually what you would do is utilize this flange and try to connect to it with half of your other new flange but beings that the one I got does not fit this one properly and that bolt being stuck in the back I'm not going to use this one so what we're going to do here and you can see I've got a hanger up here as well so what we're going to do is we're going to cut this flange off right behind the flange between the flange and the hanger so we're going to cut this pipe right here and then we will be cutting off this hanger back here and get this all ground down so that the new flange we can actually slip over this pipe and I'll show you the parts that we've got there and let's go take a look at everything we've got all right so this is our new flange kit and originally what we was going to do is just use this half over here and mount this flange to the flange that's on the car but unfortunately, this is a different size and it won't work. So we're gonna use the whole thing. So basically, what we're gonna do after we get everything cut off underneath there and just have pipe, so we're gonna slide this end over the pipe and then we're gonna use our exhaust clamp. So exhaust clamp will just go on like that. Slide the other piece on, so it basically goes on like that. And then we're going to be using a different hanger as well. So we're going to be using a hanger like this that you can bolt onto the back of this exhaust clamp. So it'll just slide through like that, and you'll get everything all lined up. And then. Put your clamp nuts on. And it basically look like this when you're done underneath there. Or at least for us it will, since we have to use the whole thing. And then when you put them on, make sure you crank these nuts down really tight so it grips onto that exhaust. So let's go ahead and get things done underneath that car. All right. So we got everything installed on this side of the flange kit. So you can see the new flange. Sorry, the light's starting to flicker again. It just fit over the existing pipe. So it basically just slid over. And then 
we put our exhaust clamp on there and then the new exhaust hanger kind of hard to see but it bolted onto the back side of the exhaust clamp and then basically just connects to the rubber hanger up top there then you tighten those two nuts down really tight and that'll hold that piece on there normally I like to weld this stuff but it means that I need to have those nuts there to get the new hanger up might as well as go ahead and just use a clamp instead plus I hate welding laying on my back don't have a lift yet so you can kind of see there how it looks turned out pretty good so now let's go ahead and get this muffler prepped up all right so we got the muffler hung back up uh, we're just doing kind of a mock-up right now so we put it back in the uh, exhaust hangers there then it's just kind of resting over here now you can see where I cut the uh, the flange off this end so that we can get the other one up and then I've got the marks there so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut down along this line because we've already done a little bit of a mock-up with the uh, new flange then if I can get a hold of this it's hard to do it one-handed and you can see up here this is where the other flange will mount to and I got a line going up and down there that's where I'll cut that one back a little bit too just to trim it up the other line that's going to the left that will line up with the line down here that's going to the right that way yeah that way when we actually connect those together this flange will mount properly so that these bolt holes will line up so we am gonna go ahead and trim these up and this should fit over it once I get this trimmed back and we'll make sure these lines are lined up and then what I'm gonna do is I'll be welding this piece because any chance I get to weld in a decent environment not underneath here then I'll definitely do that because welding exhaust versus using clamps is you know technically it is better given the chance so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and cut those and then we'll do a tack weld make sure everything lines up down here and then just go ahead and run a solid bead so let's go ahead and do that all right so you can see we got this all mocked up went ahead and we cut this piece and we cut this piece back a little bit so this slipped over the pipe a little bit there i cleaned it up a little bit on this pipe except for the clean portion went down in there so we'll have to clean it up a little bit more here um so we got our uh, our bolts on here one on the other side not really tightened down a whole lot just to kind of hold it there to get this where it needs to be um, so now we just want to make sure we got our mount as far back as it needs to be there I uh, muffler seems to be seems pretty level you just want to make sure everything lines up and your clearance is pretty good and then now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tack weld a little bit here. And then once I get that done, pull it out from under the car, clean this up around here, 
and then run a solid bead all the way around. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we got it all welded up. Not my best weld. Welder a uh, feed wheel is kind of acting sporadic, so it's not feeding real well, but it is solid, so no leaks. That's the main thing. And here's where it's all bolted up. When you bolt this thing on, make sure you uh, keep torquing it down all the way until this piece runs flush with this. You'll know because it'll stop and it won't go any further. And then everything looks nice. Turned out really well. You know, we started out just going to replace this section here. Ended up finding out we had to do this back here too. Ended up kind of being a pain really. But at least we have all new components back here. So that's always a plus. And kind of a pointer back here too. I know sometimes it can be a pain getting these hangers out of this rubber piece on all cars really. If you ever struggle getting it in or out, like I said, the channel locks work really well on getting it out and for installing it back in, just spray it down with a little bit of WD-40 or PB Blast or something like that and it'll slide right back in. So it works out perfect. So I think everything turned out pretty good. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, send me a comment, like, subscribe. I'll try to keep the content rolling. Um, got a couple more projects coming up here soon. So I'm pretty excited about that. And thanks again. Back, back, back from the dead.